Thank you, Alaska Herlock, and thank you, Minister, for being in the Shannon today. Um, I do welcome that we've been given the opportunity to debate the motion today. This was an opportunity, unfortunately, denied to our colleagues in the Dáil. I imagine the denial of such a debate was the impetus behind the motion on the greyhound racing industry brought before the Dáil this morning by Deputy Cairns and the Social Democrats, an extremely important and worthwhile initiative that I wholeheartedly support. The motion before us is straightforward. It authorises almost €1.5 billion Euro to the Horse and Greyhound Fund under the Horse and Greyhound Racing Act 2001. However, what was not being provided to us in any real way is an adequate level of justification from government of firstly the decision to continue to provide such substantial state financial support to a loss-making industry with a long structural record of cruelty to animals and secondly to actually increase that allocation to the industry by over 2.5 million euro compared to 2019. We have all seen the RTE and spoke to the RTE investigates documentary from last year which details the truly appalling and unspeakable acts of violence committed against animals as part of this industry. It's an industry that kills over 6,000 dogs a year simply for not running fast enough. I cannot comprehend how an industry that has so conclusively been proved to be using such widespread cruel practices would be rewarded with increased funding. It's just unfathomable. In the RTE programme, has not been deemed, if the RTE programme has not been deemed as sufficient grounds for radical reform, I do wonder what it would take. What additional cruelty would have to be revealed before the government would consider reviewing state funding to such an industry? This is an industry that received over six times more state money than the total state funding allocated to animal welfare organisations combined. If the level of abuse and mistreatment revealed on the RTE Investigates programme does not give pause for pursuing a stated policy of continuing the in and increasing funding to the greyhound industry, then what would it actually take? Even if we set aside the decision to increase funding and only consider the extraordinary level of state support given to the industry, I'm strongly of the view that public funds have to be used in a way that promotes the public good. What public good is served in this case? In Fergus Finlay's article from the Irish Examiner yesterday, the average attendance rate at a race meeting was 288 people per race. This comes after a decade of sharp declines in attendance that leaves Ireland as only one of a handful of countries in the world that allows dog racing. This industry is failing and we are choosing to prop it up and for what purpose? I recognise that the industry employs many people across the country, particularly in rural Ireland, the vast majority of whom likely have a great love and affection for animals. But the revelations over recent years show that ultimately the fundamental structure of the industry is one built on exploitation and cruelty of the animals at its very centre. We would fully be able to gradually unwind state support for the overall industry while also providing alternative employment and educational opportunities for the industry's workers much as is being done for those affected by the board pneumonia closures. This is doable if the political will was there and if the government were willing to act. In the last Oireachtas, we passed the Greyhound Racing Act 2019. The Shannon played a leading role in strengthening and improving that legislation and to improve the provisions relating to dog welfare. We proposed a ban on the export of greyhounds to countries with terrible welfare records, and this was rejected by the government. I would urge the government to use this opportunity provided by this new national debate to reconsider such a ban, easily justifiable under EU trade law, through the Article 36 exemptions to unitary trade act by a member state explicitly, explicitly on animal welfare grounds. Thank you. Thank you indeed.